Hello everyone, welcome to our final day of the daily creative challenge. I hope you're all doing well. Before we get started, I have to take a quick selfie. I recommend that you do also, and if you're on the Slack, we should all post them after the stream. All right, I'm gonna get you, chat. I'm gonna get you in the selfie. Say cheese. Nice, looking good. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. We've been doing this daily creative challenge for the last two weeks. This is day 10, and our theme today was selfie. I gave you a hint yesterday at the end of the stream. Just a smiling face. A lot of you guessed emoji. Close. This is pretty, pretty much just an emoji of yourself. We've got Bruce in the chat. Nirwan says that uh, he woke up early and made it to the stream. Thank you for being here. That means so much. Juan Pablo, good to have you here. You were the first one in chat today. Yes, Michael, we are in San Francisco. We love hearing where you are all watching from. I know Dana's in Washington. Let's hear some other places. Bring it on. <laughs> Felicia, hey, my people. And Fern, you're wondering, you have a question about AI. Feel free to ask it in chat and maybe we can get an answer for you if it isn't too complex. Brent is from Minneapolis. Promise is in Nigeria. Wow, it's 2 a.m. Thank you for staying up so late. So if you wanna check out everyone's projects from the last two weeks, you can check out bit.ly slash daily challenge, or nope, yes, daily challenge gallery. bit.ly slash daily challenge gallery. I have it open on my screen right now. You can see all of these beautiful challenges. We've been looking at these every day for the last two weeks, and I've been super duper inspired by all of you. We'll look at some of your work from today, today's theme at the end of the stream. But first we will walk through uh, kind of a tutorial on how to make a selfie of yourself an Illustrator. All day today, we've been hanging out on the Slack channel. You can check out the Git feedback channel and we can see even Michael Shez made a selfie of himself. And I think it looks literally exactly like him. So good job, Michael. <laughs> So thanks everyone for being so active in the Slack. It's been awesome hanging out with you over the last two weeks. Mamta, hello. Atif, yes, so many tabs. We're gonna be looking at actually a lot of your work today. What's up, Thomas? Thanks for being here. Cool, so we have Illustrator open. And if you've never opened Illustrator before, this is what you would see, the new document menu. You're gonna to wanna to pick something that is in the web tab because that means the dimensions will work well for Behance, which is where we will be uploading this work later on. So we'll be making illustrations, exporting them, and then uploading them to finish out our challenges for the two weeks. And a lot of you have done every single day's theme, which is awesome. All you had to do is seven, but you've done all nine or 10 if you count the first day. So kudos to you, really, really impressive. But I already have my project open. You'll see here that I have some cute little selfies of myself, all kinds of different colors. I have myself on different artboards. If you wanna know how to make a new artboard in Illustrator, there's a very nifty artboard tool. Shift O is the hotkey. If you select it, you can just click and drag. You can also select artboards that you already have drag them around or make duplicates by holding down option. Maybe. Thank you, Illustrator. There you go. That's what I did to make all six of these artboards. <laughs> yeah, Atif, this is pretty cute. I love all the color combinations. And I'm wondering, chat, if you have a favorite one. I know what mine is. I want to hear what yours is first, though. So you'll see that all six of these selfies of me, all these little mini emojis of me are all the same, minus different colors, but I wanna change up the hair on each of them. And I'm gonna show you a super easy way to give yourself fun hairdos and give any shape a new uh, fun shape in Illustrator, just using effects. So we've used effects a little bit in the last two weeks. We used the zigzag effect to make a wave. Uh, we might've used roughen maybe. Hey Shiraz, welcome. <laughs> Trixie Bell, you, you can take down the ones you don't like, score. Yeah, Trixie Bell, you could, uh, you could curate down to seven if you want, or you can share them all. Totally, whatever you want. Hey Fabian from California, what's up? So let's jump into the first 
selfie. Like I said, we're gonna be using effects. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this large hair shape that I have. All it is, you see I can move it. It's just like a, a rectangle with a rounded top. And I have it layered beneath my little face. I'm gonna select that and go up to the effects menu. See that up here. And we're mostly gonna be working in the distort and transform effects. We're gonna explore a little bit out of that, but mostly gonna stay in here. So let's start with, hmm, which one should we start with? How about pucker and bloat? This one is cool because it gives you two different um, end results. You always wanna make sure that when you have these menus pop up that you check preview because you want to see what you're doing while you're doing it. Nirwan likes the contrast in the top middle selfie. Nirwan, that's my favorite one too. You guessed it right. I love it. It looks like a little tangerine girl. All right, so we have preview checked. Awesome. And you'll see that if I grab this slider and I pull it just a little bit towards Pucker, some crazy stuff starts to happen. Whoa. Maybe drag it a little further. I'm officially in a punk rock band. Maybe a little bit further. And now I'm an alien. So... I think I'm gonna stay maybe a little more, more casual about this haircut. But I want it to be a little crazy. Hair's fun, life's too short to have boring hair. Let's just do select and you'll notice that you can still see the outline of my original hair shape. That's because there's just an effect placed on this shape. I can very easily undo the effect. I can edit it by just clicking the appearance over here in my properties manual, man, panel, <laughs> panel just pucker and blow and I can go in here and affect it on the fly. But I like this so far. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's do the other option. I'm gonna go up to effect, go back, do pucker and bloat, or you can just do pucker and bloat. It's kind of a, uh, a quick option since you just used it. And let's push it a little bit towards the bloat size. You'll notice that I get a little, maybe some 80s hair, some round rollers in my hair, kind of fun. Push it really far and I've got some sweet pigtails. So let's keep it right about there. Looks good. Wow, a star is born. It's me, the star. Cool, so we have two hairdos so far. This is inspiring me. Not only the colors of the hair, but just the hairdos. Isaac, that's so cool, I like that. Yeah, you should totally try this in your selfies, everyone. Just throw some effects on your hair, see what happens. All right, we're going back into Distort and Transform. And let's choose Roughen. This is how I feel like my hair actually looks. A little rough sometimes. Let's click Preview. Yep, that's me, that's pretty much me. We're actually going to select Smooth to make it look a little bit more like hair waves. Bump down the size a little bit. This effect is kind of sensitive, so I like to keep things pretty small, but I could throw it all the way out there and I look pretty wild. Let's tone it down just a little bit. Looks like I just got shocked by something. Cute, cute. Uh, Janie, is today's challenge the last one or will there be one for tomorrow? I need to catch up. This is the last challenge good question actually we can talk about that so this was the ninth theme or tenth if you count the the introduction which was the rocket ship but instead of receiving a challenge tomorrow morning if you've signed up for the daily creative challenge you'll receive uh, an email from us asking you to complete a survey so the survey is going to be really helpful for us to know if you liked the daily creative challenge maybe if we should do some in the future if so, what should we change to make it better? Um, we really don't really know what the future holds. So this survey is really, really important to us to get your feedback. You have all been so diligent and you've completed this challenge and it's kind of like the last, uh, the last effort to put in to complete it. So yeah, look for that email tomorrow morning instead of a theme. Check your junk in your spam folders as well. All right, going down here to the bottom row. Let's see. Robin needs to catch up as well. The cityscape looms before me. Yeah, Robin, you're having a hard time with that cityscape. I wonder why? Just too complicated? It's kind of a, a big thing to, to undertake. 
Let's do zigzag. No, we're gonna save that one actually. I'm gonna do zigzag on the pink one. Let's do twist. This one's fun, it's very simple. So if I click preview, you'll notice that it just adds a little wave to my hair. This kind of actually looks like how my hair looks. Trixie Bell is lovely, definitely filling in the survey is a positive. Oh, thanks Trixie Bell. Let's even push a little bit further, really get a swoosh going in my hair. I really loved seeing all of your selfies, not only just to be like, oh, so that's what they look like, but to see how you all kind of represent yourselves. I know that when I don't know what to draw, I usually just draw myself. That's like the first thing that I do. So this was a really fun project for me. All right, like I said, we're going to do the zigzag for the pink hair, because I think it'll look really good on this one. Let's click preview. We're gonna click smooth to make it look more like waves or curls. CD, it's 2 a.m. in the UK. Thanks for staying up with us. We'll be done soon, but not that soon. So stick around just a couple more minutes. And I'm just playing with these sliders just until I see something that I like. Since I've used this quite frequently, I kind of have the feeling for it. Like the further I push it, the, the more abstract it looks. Maybe the taller the zigzags get. But like I said, I want them to just be more like little waves in the hair. Cool, I like that. Now the last one is a little bit special. We're gonna use a different kind of effect. This isn't gonna actually transform the shape at all, but it's gonna more put an effect on the shape, a lighting effect. So if we go to stylize, we could either do outer glow or scribble. I was thinking of doing outer glow, although let's do scribble really quickly because I actually haven't played with this for this shape. We do, ooh, makes my hair a little smaller. This is fun. That's why I love the illustrator effects. Get a more hand-drawn feeling. But let's do what I was originally thinking. Go to stylize, outer glow. And I'm just, if I wanna go back, if I wanna undo the effect I did, I'm just command Z. That's the hotkey. Tim's here, what's up? Tim, it is very early for you. Get some sleep. Thanks for being here. All right, so this is Outer Glow. This is the menu that you get. And you'll notice that I don't have preview turned on, so let's turn that on. And you'll notice when I did that, this little pink halo appeared around my hair. So I think pink is a good idea. I like that. Maybe we'll change it a little bit. I just double click the swatch. Maybe more purple. All right, I have the mode on multiply, so the glow darkens instead of lightens. I'm gonna blur it out even more. And now I have an unearthly glow around me because clearly I'm an alien, I have blue skin. Yeah, Felicia the zigzag, it's so cute. It reminds me of Animal Crossing, if anyone plays that. All right. So, we have a couple different variations of myself. I'll actually take you over to this file I have where I have all of the variations of myself on one artboard because I'm going to export all of them as one asset. We haven't done this yet really. So I'm going to select all of me, all six of me. I could right click, do export selection or go up to file, export selection. You like the glow, very Steven Universe? Yes, I am a crystal gem, it's true. And you'll notice how we've been staying on this assets tab here in the export panel for the menu. I could go to artboards and it will export everything on this singular artboard. In this case, it doesn't really matter because I only have one artboard. Um, but if you had multiple, maybe you had a multiple different screens, like one for iPhone 6 and one for Android, and they're different resolutions, they're different sizes, but you just want to export the iPhone one, you could go here and just select that artboard and export it, and you would just have one iPhone image. A lot of Steven Universe fans, I love it. <laughs> the file name, test test, very designer, yes. I was actually thinking that when I when I saved that. I was like, is anyone gonna see that? Probably. All right, let's do selfie times six. 
make sure that I have it saved in the correct area. Daily creative challenge. Look at all these challenges, everyone. We've done so much work. All right, I just want it to be a JPEG at 100% scale. Perfect, export asset, and it will appear. Selfie six. There they are, so cute. Look at them all, my children. <laughs> Arthur says Lisbon has a bridge over the river, just like San Francisco. It's your twins, it's your twin city, twin sister. Nice. There's many a bridge here in San Francisco. All right, so we have our file exported. Let's get our project on Behance updated. You have all done such a great job of updating your projects. I'm so proud. All right, we're gonna go to my profile. You'll see that I have my project right here. You can just hover over this pencil icon and click edit, loading the project editor. And scroll down. Look at all this awesome work we've done. Getting a little tear in my eye. All right, this was day eight, our guitar that we built yesterday. Let's go below day eight and upload our finished final piece. A desktop, daily creative challenge, selfie time six. Look at those girls, they look like a rock band. It's a six person rock band. Alrighty. Type in day number nine. Selfie. Me, myself, and me again. And also me. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Don't forget her and me. <laughs> All of me. Save, save, save. Perfect. Now this is the most important part. We've talked about this every day, so hopefully you already know this, but up in the settings tab, in the discoverability tab, we wanna make sure that the keyword is daily creative challenge, no spaces. Check your spelling on this as well. You might wanna go into your project and make sure that all the words are spelled correctly, just so we don't miss them when we're looking through all of them. And just so uh, other people don't miss them either. Thank you, Arthur. I think they're cute too. Isaac, is this the last day? This is the last day for the challenge, yes. But be on the lookout in your email tomorrow morning for a follow-up to let us know what you think about the challenge. We'll send a survey. It's really fun. It's really quick, really easy, nothing to be worried about. And it would really be helpful for us to know if you enjoyed it. And even if you enjoyed it, what we could do better next time, if you would like to have another challenge, um, this is really up to all of you. So let us know. All right, we're saving that. Let's pop back to my profile and let's view our finished project. I think I'll go in after the challenge is over, maybe tomorrow or this weekend, and really maybe edit the copy that I wrote. I, I mostly wrote it on the fly, maybe add some links like I did in the first one, maybe point to some other people's projects. I really want this to be a nice presentation. Everyone, what was your favorite day? Let me look through again, let me try and pick. I think today might have been my favorite. It's kind of the culmination. We used all the tools that we learned, this one was fun. That was a lot of tools and a lot of effects. Yeah, I think the selfie was my favorite. All right, so hopefully you already have your selfie uploaded on Behance, but if not, no worries. Uh, you have until Saturday, though there's no hard deadline, but it would be great if you could get in your work by then. Uh, what is the key command that I keep zooming in? On Illustrator, it's just Command Plus or using the Zoom tool. But I also have something set up on my computer. It's Option Command 8. You can turn it on in accessibility in your system preferences. That will zoom my screen in when I'm not using Illustrator. <clears throat> All right, and Pavel, actually, that's a great question. Can we talk about AI improvement? Uh, the daily creative challenges the survey is more about the actual challenge, but if you do want to chat about what you'd like to see in Illustrator, the Illustrator forums are amazing. Forums.adobe.com will take you to them, and then you can click on Illustrator from there. There are so many people on there, so smart every day, talking about uh, updates and what they'd like to see and cool workarounds for updates that haven't happened yet. Yes, also, Michael, that's a great point. The user voice is also a great Example, you can send direct feedback to the engineers. 
and they take it really seriously. So I'd highly recommend doing that as well. Okay, everyone, you ready to look at some of your work? Get some feedback, get some critiquing, get some appreciation? We've got Ed here. Ed was like our first person to join Slack. So that's awesome, Ed. Thank you so much for being here. He's got a really nice project going on, a similar color scheme, kind of blue and, and green. That's interesting, Ed, I didn't really notice that. But let's talk about this selfie. I love it, and especially I love the hair, because it seems like maybe you used some sort of repeating action or effect to make this. This light blue in the background is really friendly. Nice. All right, there's his illustration, and there he is. I think there's definitely a similarity. But I'm gonna go down to the comments. I'm gonna ask, Ed, how did you make that hair? How did you achieve that hair? So cool. I love asking these kind of questions in Behance projects because I see so many things that I'm like, I might be able to do that, but I wonder how they did it. There's so many different ways to do the same thing in Illustrator, so it's always good to know multiple ways. All right, this is Desiree, and Desiree actually posted this in our feedback channel on Slack uh, without the texture in her hair, and she was wondering uh, what she could do to make it stronger. And we recommended that she maybe try the draw inside drawing mode. Um, if you're in the Slack, you can check out the good feedback channel to find the link to that. But it looks like she implemented it because she has some nice texture here in the hair shape that doesn't go outside the hair shape. Let's zoom in a little bit. Like especially right here, it comes all the way up to the edge, really nice. I also love the texture on the eyebrows. Nice job, Desiree. I'm gonna ask, did you use draw inside for the hair texture? I love seeing all of your other comments on here. There's a Tief, Pavel, so supportive. This community is wonderful. All right, this is by Lev. His first piece was a little SpongeBob fan art, but this is so different. It's such a, a simple style. I really love it, and I think that this very simple but effective shadow adds some depth to, like I said, a really simple style. Oh, Desiree, you did use Draw Inside. Yes, awesome. Articulate says that he's guessing that Ed uses the rotation tool. It's a good tool, or that's a good idea. <laughs> Ooh, Dana's here, hello, Dana. It's a nice job, Lev, I'm gonna appreciate that because I love your simple style. Let's look at a couple more. This is by Larissa, and Larissa has made really awesome submissions so far this week. I especially loved the, the silhouette of this one, actually. The camping day. But I noticed that a lot of these are very flat, like graphic illustrations. But then when she got to um, her selfie, it's much more painterly. And I really, really loved this effect. I'm wondering, like, did you use the swirl tool or distort? How did this happen? Gotta love those blushy cheeks. So I'm actually gonna ask, love to know how you made the swirls in your hair. I wonder if you're ever curious about how people did things in their art. I'm always wondering. Yeah, Glenn, I agree, it is so creative. Nice job, Larissa. All right, this is Gabriel's piece. I love this, so simple, and it's not just one selfie. It's a selfie within a selfie, and then another selfie within the selfie. He kind of looks like Gilligan from Gilligan's Island right here. Nice job, Gabriel. There's been a lot of awesome work over in his portfolio. Each of them are in a different project, but I think this is the strongest one so far. It's a nice composition. It's a full illustration, it tells a full story, and even these little stars, these little blingies, are a nice addition. Great job, Gabriel. Yeah, Dana, her hair's awesome. All right, this is by Prabeen. So cute, I love the kind of innocent nature of this style of illustration. And I wanted to point out just this little detail of this lowered opacity circle right here adds so much dimension to an otherwise pretty flat illustration. Not saying that flat is bad, but this just little detail adds a little more dimension. And I'd like to even see it maybe in the hair to show how shiny it is. Maybe a little gleam on the bow tie. 
really nice. A nice use of um, stylization to make this character look really innocent. Just the smile and the looking up, not looking in the camera. Really nice job. Alrighty, and then there's just a couple more that I just wanted to flick through really quickly to just show you all how amazing you did today and throughout the entire project. This is by Constantine. He's been around so much. He made a selfie for himself and also a new character named Sunny. I think the idea behind this was what, what if the sun was a person? Have clouds for hair. Nice job, Constantine. This is Brent's awesome emoji. It almost looks like a bitmoji. So nice job, Brent. Super cute by Eva. All of her projects were amazing. And very similar in style, complete with a story in two different languages, which is awesome. Really using Illustrator in an illustrative way. Nice job, Eva. Just a couple more, this is a Shiraz with doggy and wifey and baby and him. So cute, love the colors, nice job. This is by Sarah, so simple and I love this little pie shape cut out. I wonder if you used the pie tool in Illustrator. This is awesome by Robert. It almost looks like he has his head mounted on a wall, which is strange and interesting and I love it. And let's look at one more, this is by Cindy. So fun, very simple and has a lot of attitude to it. Yeah, no problem, Brent. So that's it for the daily creative challenge, at least for now. Aw, everyone can get in for a selfie. Oh, he's sticking his tongue out. <laughs> Watch it, buddy. Uh, thank you so much for being here. It's been a blast hanging out with you here in the live chat, in the Slack. It's been really, really nice to hear your answers on Behance. I've been commenting a lot. You've been responding a lot. It's been a, a great time. Make sure that you're on the lookout for the email tomorrow morning. Instead of another theme, you'll get the email with the survey in it, and you can let us know if you'd like us to do another challenge, uh, what you'd like us to do better or change, and, and what you learned over the last two weeks. Shiraz, we learned so much. Me too, honestly. I mean, coming up with all these tutorials and building them with everyone, it's been a great learning experience and I really enjoyed it. Uh, if you wanna stay caught up with me, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm Kathleen Illustrated. I love that. And hopefully we'll see you around very soon. Bye everyone, thanks for being here. <laughs>